Patrick, we are here today with two nearly identical Remington pistols mm -hmm. to address the age-old question, 9 millimeter versus 45. Now, I know how attached you are to the 45. You were personal childhood friends with John Browning, but it's the modern era. And that's what I told J. Edgar Hoover way back in the old days before the FBI went to 40 and screwed everything up. But, but, now, but now they're thinking about coming back to 9 millimeters. I know. So. But what we've got now is high speed cameras to tell us just what happens in recoil and slide cycle on these two pistols, because cameras don't lie. Jim, the thing I find interesting about 9 and 45 and essentially identical pistols yeah. is that because of the differing levels of power, they have to change spring weights, cam angles, and the like. And here with the 45, we can see that just at the moment of firing, you got, you got first you have uh, the, the air that's in the bore bullet. coming out ahead you of the push bullet. Push out ahead of the bullet, and then the bullet escapes. Oh. And it's six inches outside of the muzzle, and yet the slide is already starting to unlock because of the mass of the bullet that's being propelled. Right, and we've got a cinder block background, which gives us a nice horizontal line to mm -hmm. judge muzzle rise. So let that let that play forward. And it's I just find it interesting just how much in a oh. 45 on a light gun, how much that muzzle rises, you know, even in your quote unquote veteran hands. Hey, hey, hey. I've got but, a tight grip, and it's almost to a 45-degree angle. And, and it's twisting to the right a little bit. And the yep. interesting thing is it happens so fast that most people don't even realize it goes right. up that right. high. Now, let's compare that to the 9 millimeter, right. which, again, it's basically an identical gun. The slide weight is slightly different. The springs are a little bit different. Right. But other right. than that, the same gun. Right. And 9 millimeter. That bullet shoots out. You can see Gone. that the bullet's traveling a little bit faster. All right, and then in recoil, it comes back a little bit slower because there's less energy generated by the cartridge to drive the slide back. And when it bottoms out, it doesn't come up to a 30 degree angle in my hands. And then it starts going forward again. Already, yeah. Already, yeah. And um, much more manageable recoil, you know. One would expect that in a 9 versus 45, but to see the market difference here on camera of the muzzle rise, there's no torque in the 9 mil. It goes up, it comes down. It doesn't twist like the 45. And now we're done. The empty is five, six inches from the slide, and it's already closed up and on, on the target. And, and the interesting thing is your, your, your finger's still on the trigger. It's all the way back. You haven't even oh, reset yeah. the trigger yeah, yet. The gun's done long before I am. It's just waiting for me to go get my finger off there and shoot for the So you one. agree with me that the 9 millimeter wins? 